So we are going to put our names at the top. Right now. Name at the top. And we are going to use our vocabulary words that we learned this morning and that we read in our story to figure out the clue below. So it says on section A, read each clue below, then find the vocabulary word on the right that matches the clue, and then we're going to draw a line from the clue to the word. So Eli, would you read number one really loud, please? Okay, was asked to come somewhere. So think about our words this morning. We have aside, language, culture, plead, fair, scurries, invited, and shared. If you were asked to come somewhere, maybe to a birthday party, to a Christmas party, a Halloween party, if you were asked to come there, what were you, Eli? No, I don't think that's one of our spelling or our vocabulary words. If you were asked to come somewhere, Ellie, what were you? Invited. You were invited. You were invited to come. <coughs> All right, now you're gonna take one and you're gonna draw a line from one to invited, which is D. So watch Mrs. Murphy, at the end of this one, I'm just gonna draw a line to D. I know, I know. And they can touch and circle invited because we use that word and then I'm gonna put it up here on our chart. Okay, did everybody draw a line from one to D? One goes to D. All right, John, would you read number two? Give, part, give part of something. So John, I'm going to give you part of my cake. I'm going to give you part of my gummy worms. What am I doing? What? Say it a little bit louder because I can't hear you. We're going to have the same. So if I'm giving you part of mine, what am I doing? Sharing. 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 I'm sharing or share. So number two, to get part of something is to share. And that's E. And that is E. So draw a line from two to E. And then I'll put that up here. Hey, Miss Murphy. You said two to E. Oh, thank you, Lewis. You're right. I did the wrong one. Good yeah. catch. Good catch. Thanks for catching my mistake. This is Murphy. Look. This is here. This is the second one. This is the second one. And look here. Is it right here? Okay, number three. Raylan, would you read that really loud? The words people speak. Okay, the words people speak. What is that called, Raylan? The words that people speak. Like we are speaking language. our language, our and we speak English. So that is our language. So we're gonna draw three to A. Miss Murphy, you're good at drawing. Thanks, Lewis. I've been practicing nice for many novel, years. Right? <laughs> um, yeah. Lots of years. Nineteen. Yes, I will say that. Okay, Libby, will you do read number four, please? Close. Quickly. So remember that squirrel on our clever touch that was running quickly? What is he doing? Yeah, that's not one of our words. We have plead, culture, fair, aside, and scurry. He's scurrying. It's not mine. <coughs> He's scurrying. What is he doing, Libby? What did that 
squirrel do? Scurries. Scurries. Good job. So number four, to run quickly means to scurry or scurry. So we're going to draw four down to H. Okay, number five. Abby, would you read number five? To move to one side. What does that mean? You're moving something aside. Aside! You just said it. Good job. Aside. So if you move something to one side, you moved it aside. So number five should go to G. E. We took that at the same time. This is what the idea is, though. Okay, be right there. Number six. Read that for us, please, Wyatt. What is number six? A way of life. Okay, a way of life. How we live. We learned about Maria's way of life in Brazil. We know about our way of life. What is that called? Is it be culture, or fair? Culture. Culture. Good job. Our way of life is our culture. So number six should go to F. Number seven. Can you read that for us, please, Lewis? Mm. Sound Bag. that out. Bay. If you're begging your mom and dad. Fair. Mm. No. Mm. Oh. What's that big word? <laughs> Sound it out. Plead. 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 Good job. You're gonna. With your mom and dad, you're gonna beg them. So number seven goes up to B. Plead. And the last one, number eight. Read that for us, please. L E A. Can you read number eight? truth, you're being honest. What are you being? Nice. Nice. You're definitely being nice, but what is the last word that we have? Fair. fair. You're being fair. So, the last one is eight. You should go to C. Okay. Now, at the bottom, we are going to choose one of our, of our vocabulary words from the box above and write the word in a sentence of your own. So you can write your own sentence. <clears throat> Mrs. Murphy will make a sentence that you can also use. Because remember the first couple weeks I'm doing a lot of this with you until you get the hang of understanding how to complete these. So number nine, can anybody think of a sentence that uses one of our vocabulary words? Ingrid. I went to the fair. I went to the fair. Good. That's a different kind of fair, but that would work. I went to the fair. Brooklyn. I'm being honest with my friends. I'm not telling them a lie. Say that again. I'm being fair to my friends. I'm not telling them a lie. Good. I'm being fair with my friends and not telling them a lie. Good job. Kinsley. I begged for my bike. Can you say I pleaded I, for my bike? Yes, that would work. Ellie. Um, one time I was at a park and somebody else speaks a different language and that was my friend. Perfect. Yeah, so you use the word language. That would work too. Okay. Mrs. Murphy is going to pick. Oh gosh, which one should I pick? Should I pick fair? Pick one. Okay, so I'm going to say I am always.
way is fair. Mm-hmm. But you could definitely write another sentence, or you could write the one that In- Ingrid said about fair. I'm going to double check. Do I have a capital letter at the back beginning? And do I have a period at the end? 